We feel that the evidence to suggest a highly capable, technologically advanced, intercontinental, possibly interstellar civilization once flourished here on our planet is now irrefutable. The questions we now feel need answering do not now regard whether they existed, but surround their true origins, actual age, and indeed final destination. We would, of course, be the descendants of this past civilization. Yet the proof of global flooding, past cataclysm, and a technological reset occurring within human history, we would hope, is clear for all who peruse our channel to see. With such an event experienced by a civilization, once capable of lifting and building with unimaginably huge megaliths, one would presume that post-event one would encounter primitive dwellings, yet built partially with these now dwindling technologies, which would eventually become lost knowledge. We feel that, indeed, many ancient dwellings that can be found all over the planet, in particular the United Kingdom, currently claimed as Neolithic, are suitable candidates to support this supposition. Constructed with enormous, unexplained, mysteriously lifted megaliths, are these sites remnants of an advanced lost civilization? We hypothesize that the builders of such still retained limited knowledge and or technologies left from their now lost civilization, allowing them to create stable, immovable, yet primitively constructed dwellings, which we still cannot explain today. Furthermore, and the purpose for our video, the extremely ancient, little academically shared dwelling tucked away among a remote region of Russia. Located within the Caucasus Mountains, hundreds of similarly aged megalithic monuments, which the Russians call dolmens. Uncannily similar to the ancient trilithons found within the UK, however, it seems that these remaining remnants possibly of the same lost civilization, still possess something which allowed them to carve perfectly spherical holes through enormous megalithic stones. Just what were these ancient people using to create these ancient structures? Or indeed, the perfectly cut spherical doorways within? Who built the ancient dolmens that can be found dotting Russia? The ancient trilithons found dotting the United Kingdom? Are these structures, as we have suggested, remaining relics left by a civilization who had just experienced drastic cataclysm? If this is not the case, why do they possess characteristics indicative of lost knowledge, yet appear to be of such a primitive design? We find our hypothesis and the supporting evidence highly compelling. How did a lost, global civilization once cut solid stone with such ease and precision? Unimaginably large megalithic structures, laser-like cut stones, utilized within the baffling, polygonal masonry, not to mention the mystery surrounding the construction of the Great Pyramids. Many mysterious drilled stone cores can be found throughout Giza. These enigmatic tool marks can also be found at the incredibly ancient dolmen of Valkonsky in Russia, exposing the capabilities and clear technological prowess that this lost civilization, who we feel were possibly experiencing an ice age, had left in order to survive its fallout. Yet I digress. Discovered within Austria, we were initially presented with just these three images, two of the exterior, which, if one looks closely, not only displays the porthole of a hidden chamber hidden upon the side of a solid rock face, but that the surrounding rocks had also been cut and finished to an incredibly high standard somewhere in the very distant past. This indicated to us that this chamber that is not only reminiscent of the hypogeum in Malta, with the addition of the stone within the circular chamber, which we cannot avoid feeling, could have some form of connection to resonance creation, 
with erosion indicative of a site with an age similar to Cappadocia's ruins, but later revealed to have been, as we expected, but one chamber, in a maze akin to that of the underground city of Derinkuyu. Hidden within an Austrian book of antiquities, we discover a series of fortunately mapped solid stone-cut chambers which litter this enormous chunk of exposed bedrock. Clearly an astonishing prehistoric site, one cut by an incredibly capably, and we feel, clearly technologically advanced civilization. For why would a civilization with simple, primitive tools, such as those made of blunt or brittle stones, or soft, malleable metals, such as that of copper, go to such extremes in the creation of a maze of hidden chambers, each not only finished to an incredibly precise degree, but to have worked stones into unnatural shapes outside of these chambers, many serving no essential function as far as we can identify? Who created this prehistoric site found within the landscape of Austria? How old are the chambers? What technology or tools were utilized in the creation of such a magnificent ancient ruin? Or indeed, that of the Volkonsky Dolmen, along with the many similarly drilled cores and their stone blocks found throughout Giza. Do all these pieces of evidence indicate the past existence of a lost civilization, one who possessed advanced stone-cutting technology? We find such possibilities highly compelling. There is a lot of mystery surrounding the continent of Antarctica. Officially the driest place on Earth, the ecosystems within the South Pole are untouched and remain the healthiest anywhere, one of the main official reasons for the Antarctic Treaty. A cooperation of many of the world's nations to not pollute the area. The result of this treaty has been a ban of most human beings going there unless crossing it on set cruise routes. If there are ancient ruins within this mysterious place, they will be buried under kilometers of ice, only the largest of which would even show any evidence of their existence on the surface of the ice which encases them. These ruins may not even be classified as ruins, if they were flooded by a deluge, which in turn froze during pole shifts, they would be the most pristine ancient structures now left on Earth, they may look as if they were abandoned yesterday. There are many strange reports from the region of Antarctica, usually attached to those not lucky enough to survive its elements. Many researchers online claim to have found evidence of ruins and even pyramids within the South Pole. So, what I set out to do, was to attempt to find any evidence for a past colonization of Antarctica, and if our cover-up of these articles has ensued, to attempt to find any artifacts that were lucky enough to attain public exposure before their disappearance from the official records. It did not take me long to realize I was already aware of such an artifact. A map made in 1513, by Turkish Admiral Pyari Rees, created in accordance with ancient knowledge contained within manuscripts, which would later be lost during the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. Whether these fires which occurred over a duration of eight years, were orchestrated to steal these ancient books, or indeed to destroy them forever is unknown. But from this lost knowledge, the continent of Antarctica would be shown without ice. It was thought at the time that the manuscripts within the library were only a few centuries old at most, yet the evidence would suggest they were very much older than assumed. Which is a conclusion numerous researchers have made. The map has intrigued countless individuals, and like so many other things we encounter, in regards to ancient knowledge, the most important of relics become lost or destroyed. However, the map is a surviving remnant of this vast mountain of intellectual wealth, it is the smoldering amber of proof needed to confirm such knowledge has existed before, and that the shores of Antarctica were known well, in the very distant past. If the map displays the shorelines of Antarctica before it was covered with ice, and it is displayed more accurately than Brazil, then it is not a large leap of the imagination to suspect that ancient ruins, dating back to the time of this knowledge, do exist on the Antarctic continent. And while we have ancient pyramids, declared as existing on all continents of the planet, apart from Antarctica, you begin to doubt that Antarctica is an exception after all. It could be home to the largest, with the southern tip of the world encircled by the stars, it may hold the most amazing ruins on Earth. And with it being a place that only recently have we been able to explore extensively, you have to wonder what other artifacts may be preserved in the ice, what objects may have crashed in this desolate place, during the last few thousand years, just waiting to be reverse engineered. So how does such a smoking gun, such as the Pyre Rees map, survive for so long? While throughout the centuries all the source material has been engulfed with flames around it. 
Well, the coastline of Antarctica was not known to be displayed on the map, until we achieved the capability of developing ground-penetrating technologies. It well and truly, slipped under the radar.